right, so I thought it would be a good idea to provide an update on the issue I was tackling with Riley with her whining. Um, I just thought that, you know, other people might have possibly the same issue and they might find this helpful to see what my results would be like. So um, I've taken her to the park, uh, I'd say a minimum of five times. And I'd say every single time, and I'm blown away by this, um, she has not exhibited any of her previous behaviors. Um, a lot of what she would do is she'd be ducking her head, she would kind of like avoid looking in my direction in the driver's seat because she generally knows that's where the corrections are coming from. Um, she would also just show like erratic movements, like her head, her ears would pin back, her eyes would be very dodgy, just all of those bad behaviors along with the whining. So she did none of that. She had her head down, she was calm, um, just she wasn't showing any signs of being aware of where we were and where we were going. I feel like the head down changed her mentality where she didn't care about her surroundings. She didn't care about where we were driving past or anything, um, which probably was a big factor in her acting the way she used to. So honestly, I'm super thrilled with these results. Um, for now, I think I might still be unfortunately a little anxious when we go just because of previous experiences, but with every subsequent successful trip to the park with her behaving properly and being really good about it, um, I think that feeling is going to go away. And I feel like this is important to say because there's just always a solution to a problem you're having with your dog. Um, I think this is one that I've had for a long time. It's one of the ones that I was unable to solve for the longest time. And I have to give credit to someone that I met through a local trainer here. Her name is Alexandra. Um, see, she suggested to me to do this head down and you know, it's drastic um, and it's pretty awesome. So I guess what I would say is I'm also really surprised that she picked up on it so quickly. Um, now I feel like she knows and understands that it has to be down at all times and she does it immediately once that crate door is closed. So I think that's awesome. I actually thought that she would need over a week without any driving in the garage, but um, I'm an impatient person. So I kind of took her driving on the third day of implementing this and it wasn't the greatest, um, but I felt like by then she was slightly understanding the concept. Um, I think what is important to explain is that they are learning, so you want your levels to be low. However, once you start to feel like um, it's getting repetitive where they're not following through on maintaining that position, you kind of do have to raise your levels just to show them that you're not just going to nag forever, that you will enforce this rule. So um, there are... Uh, I think what people might fail to realize is that dog behavior can be rooted in simple stuff like being calm and having her head down. Um, something that I used to hate that she used to do was um, she would pace around my living room for like 30 minutes to an hour sniffing the floor and then occasionally she would lick the floor also and that drove me nuts and I wanted the behavior to stop. Um, I didn't directly address that issue, however, I started implementing the place command and I really do think that that command itself kind of eliminated that behavior because um, now every time she's off the cot and she's allowed to roam around my house, she doesn't roam very long. Um, I'd say she goes into a down and then she's calm very quickly and that is actually the behavior I prefer from her. I don't want her to be sniffing the exact same floor every single day and pacing around for that long. Um, I just think it's, it's pointless and it just, like she just needs to settle down. Um, she needs to be calm and pacing around. You know, I mean, the floor doesn't smell any different. <laughs> it's the same floor, so she doesn't have to be inspecting it every day. But um, overall, uh, if there is an issue that you want to fix with your dog, there is always a solution. Um, 
don't, I guess, give up hope <laughs> because I almost did for this. And I know it sounds small in the grand scheme of things, um, a dog just whining in the car, but it was just negative um, every single time. And she loved to fetch. So that created a lot of conflict for mm -hmm. me because anytime I really wanted to reward her with allowing her to run her fastest and just playing. Like I, I love to see her run because she's a husky. She has so much energy and I like to reward her with that. And because she's honestly very obedient and just extremely well behaved, um, it's not something that I felt like needed to be a rare occurrence. Fetch could be every day if I wanted it to be. But the fact that she was whining and being negative just before we were about to engage in fetch, it sucked because it put me in a terrible mood. I'm sure that it started her off in a terrible mood. So that's not what you really want, something that should be positive to start off as. Um, but I'm going to keep uh, implementing this and keep working on it. Um, I think for now that we're kind of at a state where she knows her expectations and um, I'm just really, really hoping that there won't be any scenario or situation in the upcoming future where she's not the way she has been acting because park visits right now have been stress-free and I hope it remains that way. So hopefully this update um, can be helpful for anybody that is looking to address this issue. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me some. I would love to answer them and have a good day.